In this video tutorial, we will see how to handle datasets. As said before, the datasets currently loaded are shown down here in the so-called volume container. There are three different ways of getting data into the volume container. First of all, you can use the load volume icon up here, or you can use the load volume functionality here, or directly in the volume container. If you have compiled Vorin with DICOM support, you can also load DICOM slices here or directly here from the menu. So let's load the volumetric data set from my disk. So let's go here and let's load whatever points I want. Then you can see that you have two data sets loaded in here and you can change the currently used data set here. Here you have a context menu where you can either export, refresh or remove the data set. So let's remove this one, we don't need to use it anymore. And we can export this one, that's handy when you have loaded a DICOM data set which you would like to convert to raw data. Or you could re refresh this one if you have modified it if with an external application. We also have some volume processors in here. So let's see, they are down here. And these processors allow us to do simple operations in volumes. For example, we could use a volume inversion processor. Let's put it here. And then we don't use the original one for the rendering, but we use the inverted one. Now we have to enable this because it's a uh, performance hungry operation. And you can see now we have the inverted data set here. If you would like to save this inverted data set, you can use the volume save process. Just drag it into the network and connect it here. And you still can connect it to the output. And then you can save this one wherever you would like. Now we have created a copy of this data set, which is inverted, and of course we can load it again. This was the main test. And now you can see we have the inverted copy of the data set in here. And if we put it again here, and we have the inversion, we should come up with the final render. So this is basically what you can do with volumes within Vorean.